Hello and good afternoon. My name is Joel Brooke. I'm a first year architecture student, and this is my final review presentation that I've created to showcase the work that I've done throughout the second half of the fall semester. To begin, I've included a few terms that I found to be relevant during this project in the process of creating the bounding box and the wire hand. Those, of course, are order, cladding, proportion, and light. First off, we were tasked with creating a 3D model of a hand using wire to represent a single contour line that travels throughout and around the hand itself. Next up was drawing the hand. Now I found this especially challenging because of the way that the wire overlaps and intersects itself. I found myself sitting in a very well lit room, staring at the wire with my glasses on for hours. Next up, we uploaded the drawings that we'd created into Adobe Illustrator and added layers of lines to focus in and uh, zoom on certain parts of the hand itself, such as different intersections and overlaps. Next was creating the bounding box. Here we uh, studied different types of corners and joints that we could use to create the box itself. Next up, I created a kind of instructional guide that shows a step-by-step -step on how to create the box that I designed. This was interesting for me because I had to step back for a second and think about, okay, how does this go together? What order can I use that would make this as easy as possible to put everything together? Next up is an animation that I created using Rhino and an online animation service. Next up is cladding the bounding box. This was interesting for me because I wanted the cladding to accomplish three different things. One, being showcasing the hand itself. Two, I wanted the cladding to tie in with the design of the bounding box and not take away from that. And three, create different effects when light is uh, shone onto the hand itself. Next are some section views I created. Red is section A and B represents section Blue represents section B, I apologize. Next are a few elevations that I created in rendering mode using Rhino. During this step, we were tasked with creating a pedestal and a 10 by 10 space to present the box. I wanted the space to be more than just empty blank white space. So I added uh, almost beams that would that uh, correlate with different design aspects of the bounding box itself. And here we have the actual bounding box. I found this to be pretty challenging, especially with attaching the cladding to the box. Uh, I used different types of wire uh, being copper and the wire that the hand is constructed out of. Um, I wanted the wire to create kind of clasps and different hooks to hang the cladding onto the box itself. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to myself and other students. I greatly appreciate any feedback that you will be sharing with me. Thank you.